Welcome to a short tutorial on developing state chart diagrams using Star UML. Star UML is an open source product and hence available to anyone who would like to learn or use UML modeling tools. This tutorial is being brought by Adaptive Processes. Adaptive Processes is one of the world's leading requirements engineering solutions organization. It provides products in requirements management, consulting and trainings in requirements engineering. Adaptive has conducted more than 200 workshops in India, US, Thailand, Philippines and many other parts of the globe. It is also a partner to IIBA Canada, International Institute of Business Analysis Canada and International Requirements Engineering Board Germany, Scrum Study USA and Open RE Foundation USA. So let me take you to uh, to the requirements engineering uh, UML tool, which is star UML. So let's start star UML and uh, I would start star UML from the beginning so that it's easy for us to understand. Okay, so I'll just go and start star UML. So we continue with uh, the tool. So what we need to do, I have just started star UML and of course I had drawn a diagram before uh, on use case. So that is appearing here. Otherwise I go to model, art diagram and go to state chart diagram. Okay. So once you come to state chart diagram, you will see the panel changing on the left, which is primarily used for state chart diagram. So I start with the initial state which is your first state of any um, attribute that you would like to map. So here I am going to show you the states for uh, defect. So generally defect would start with something called a new defect. So once a defect is created, it comes to the new status. And then we say this is beginning from uh, start to new. From new, typically a defect would be assigned so it will be typically assigned to a resource. So we'll say it is assigned. Then after assigned, it will be in progress. That means somebody has started working on the defect and then the defect will be fixed and the defect would be closed. So that means somebody has tested the defect and found it to be okay. But in between, it is also possible that somebody may cancel the defect, basically saying the defect no longer needs to be worked, or someone could actually reopen a defect because um, sometimes uh, even if uh, we have closed the defect, we found that the defect reoccurred. Um, so I think it will not take uh, reopened. Okay. So these are the states that uh, is generally permitted and after it is closed or it is cancelled, we can consider it to be final state. So I'll just call it as final state and then you have transition. So from new it comes to assigned, uh, from uh, assigned it comes to, sorry, you can double click and then it will lock the control. So from in progress it can come to fixed and closed and from closed it comes to the final state. It's always possible that you cancel a defect after it is raised or after it is um, cancelled or it is progress or it is fixed. But you cannot cancel a defect um, once it is closed. But from closed it can go to reopened and from reopened it can always go again back to assigned because that means that defect will get assigned to someone. Okay, so this is how we can draw our state chart diagrams. Uh, of course, um, it also offers a little bit of, uh, um, sorry, I think this one second. I have to release this uh, connection, otherwise it will create trouble for me. So I just click on that, now it's locked. Okay, so I'll go back and uh, there's a little bit of an arrangement to uh, align them. So you can just say alignment, select all of that and say alignment and say alignment center. Ah, alignment center looks very bad because it kind of um, 
puts everything to the center. Otherwise, you can make it little beautified by uh, moving things a little bit in a proper way so that it looks more uh, circular and slightly better looking from an aesthetics perspective. Okay, and then we can of course uh, save it, uh, save. So, and I can export this diagram. So, if I see here, so I'll just export this diagram as PNG and I will call it as defect status. So, I'll go to state chart diagram. So, this is my defect state chart. Save. So, I have already put one and then of course, you can always put it into your uh, uh, Excel document where I have uh, put like say state chart diagram. One second, let me see state chart diagram. I can uh, delete this and I can insert my new diagram which I just created. So, I will go to requirements, state chart diagram, defect state chart and I will insert it here. Oh, what happened? Okay, insert picture, defect state chart, ah, okay. And I can of course arrange it neatly for somebody to view. Okay, so thanks for undergoing uh, this short tutorial on set state chart diagram. As you saw, uh, it's very simple as long as you understand the states and you know how to connect the states between each other. If you have any questions, uh, please write to us at info at adaptiveprocesses.com. Uh, do visit our uh, channel in YouTube where uh, plenty of videos have been placed on requirements engineering and business analysis. Thank you.